Congresswoman Sharon Garud is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Good evening. In the last 10 years, foreign direct investment flows to the Philippines have persistently remained at low levels, at $3.93 billion on the average. This wouldn't be depressing if our ASEAN neighbors are receiving almost the same. Foreign direct investment inflows average at $7.57 billion in Thailand, $9.19 billion in Malaysia, $10.29 billion in Vietnam, $15.45 billion in Indonesia, and $54.97 billion in Singapore. What have we been doing wrong? For one, we need to acknowledge that several of our laws need to be updated to keep up with our present economic activities. The 28-year-old Foreign Investments Act imposed minimum requirements upon foreign investors which upon close examination are already unrealistic in our present context. When the FIAP, when the Foreign Investments Act required foreign investors with $100,000 paid in capital to hire a minimum of 50 direct employees in 1991, minimum wage rate in NCR was only 142 pesos. Right now, the minimum wage in Metro Manila is at around 500 pesos. We cannot continue to impose the same minimum number of personnel upon prospective investors because $100,000 is now inadequate to sustain a venture's labor and operational expenses in one year. Another area that needs updating is the foreign investment negative list within the Foreign Investments Act. It has been customary for the Philippines to include the annex on professions in our foreign investment negative list. This is despite the fact that the practice of professions is not an investment activity. Article 12, Section 14 of the Constitution states, the practice of all professions in the Philippines shall be limited to Filipino citizens, save in cases prescribed by law. Save in cases prescribed by law would include the reciprocity clause within the regulatory laws governing specific professions. Presently, there are 45 regulatory laws with reciprocity provisions for specific professions. We need to exclude the practice of professions from the Foreign Investment Act. I strongly believe that these amendments to the Foreign Investments Act would boost the country's performance and competitiveness. By reducing some of the restrictions imposed by law, we can look forward to more jobs being generated, improve quality, of human resource and a more sustainable economic growth. Thank you very much.